안녕하세요. Good morning from South Korea. I cannot believe that I'm saying that. It feels surreal. Honestly, we are blessed. We feel so grateful to be here and we're super excited to explore more of Seoul today. We are going to head to the Seoul Tower and then we are going to see one of the biggest parks in Seoul. So, super excited. Look at what's behind us. It's just Korean so, everywhere. So, Korean. <laughs> so cool. All right, let's go. Let's go. First stop is to get some water for the day. That's always very important when you're doing so much walking around. It is so much cooler here than we've been used to in the Philippines. So that's a real relief. All right, let's go get some water. We got the right bus, so we're just heading in the wrong direction. dropped us off and we were a little bit like okay where do we go from here because our Google Maps is not super duper accurate probably about 90% accurate the walking direction side of it are not very good it basically just beelines you to wherever and you got to figure out how to actually walk there we walked for like one minute and we've come to some signs which is good it says Seoul Tower that way and Namsan that way okay this tunnel that we have to walk through is not on our list but it's called the tunnel of sounds and you can just hear a bunch of random sounds in here it has an english explanation here but i still don't really know what's going on it's saying it's an 84 meter long tunnel constructed with stones collected from eight different provinces when the stones are stepped on it resonates five different sounds as a whole they evoke our painful memories and create an epic scene I don't really know what it means, but I'm sure with the, in the right context, it could actually be pretty cool. This was just going to be like a get from A to B type of walk, but this is so beautiful. We're walking through this like paved parkland, so lush green. I noticed when walking down the pathway, there's signage on there telling you how far you're at. So sometimes it says 2,400 meters, 2,100 meters, and there's signage all over the place. So you know exactly where you are. Makes it so much more. There's also sections where people put like a little blanket down and have like a little picnic with their friends which I thought was so cute. And after about 15 minutes of walking we found a nice viewpoint with mountains in the background and some of the city. It looks amazing.
walking through this park, you would not even know that the city is right there. It's like this buzzing city, but we're inside this tranquil park. I am so happy to be here. Like, my heart just feels so happy here. It's like a different culture and everything, but I love it. And I love the Korean language. I love the signage everywhere. I love this park. I love the weather, the people. It's just such a nice place. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I was like, what is that noise? And then I realized it's just a pigeon with a Korean accent. Mm -hmm. seen our first glimpse of the Seoul Tower. There's also an emergency bunker right there built into the side of the hill, which is kind of a chilling reminder that South Korea is still at war with North Korea technically. However, I would not want to climb all the way up this hill to try and get to that emergency bunker in an emergency because it's quite a hike. Definitely put on your running shoes if you're going to be doing this walk. <laughs> it is a lot more hectic than I thought it would be. And these stairs, don't just like gradually go up, they're like steep stairs. But let's keep pushing because these views are looking beautiful behind me. How are you going? Oh, yeah, great. This bag's heavy, all right? I think this would be a super cool view at night. Yeah. It'd be really cool. Should we do it tonight? Yeah, no. Classic travel. We thought, oh yeah, two and a half K, walk across the park to get to the Seoul Tower from the bus stop. That should be great, you know, we need to get our steps up and everything. Getting our steps up, all right. More like getting up steps. It's so beautiful up here. The views of the city are just incredible. I've never done a hike and come up to the top and there's like shops and people and it looks like it's really busy up here. I just thought it was like a hike and then you get to the top and then you go back down. Like you look at the view and you go back down but there's like shops. I thought it was a stroll. <laughs> and then you look at the tower and then you stroll back. It's very lush. The views are just stunning. We've also noticed there's locks around, so we're going to go and check that out. And we are in Seoul's biggest park. It's very big and it's really, really, really nice. Like, just looking at the city surrounds, it's so unassuming. It's just this beautiful, picturesque, sort of tranquil park yeah. in the middle of skyscrapers as far as the eye can see in all directions. So. And mountains in the back. Yeah. Really cool mountains as a backdrop. that we saw there's so many this is where all the couples come and put their lock on and I think you can write a little like love note or something like that maybe the date you got married there's a 7-eleven up here buy the ice I bought it earlier and buddy found myself a drink I love this drink oh it is the new one I'm listening because it's American you can just buy a cup of ice it's for an iced coffee. You take the cup of ice, you put it under the coffee machine, you put the coffee in, but she thinks it's just a cup of ice. Got some stickers for our suitcases. 5,000 each for these. 5,000. That's like five bucks each. But we did get like five stickers each, so. Small stickers. Uh, no, but also, that was a souvenir shop. Usually they're more expensive at places like this. All right, so we've decided to catch the cable car down. 
to show you guys what that's all about and in case you ever want to come up here and still feel fresh you can do that uh, how do you oh. Know it? Oh. Hey. nice to meet you okay. loves the fact I mean, there are walks everywhere this is so cool we just got tickets super easy process chose two tickets put our credit card in it worked it takes american express by the way and we're just waiting for our cable car now so good and we haven't even been down yet. I'm glad we took the cable car down. Oh, wow. <laughs> so cool. We have no idea where this is gonna drop us by the way. We just no, it's going down the hill. <laughs> but the public transport here is so efficient that we're not even worried about it. We feel like we deserve some sort of a drink or a snack or something after that hike. My stomach is rumbling. David found a cafe, so let's go check it out. So much more uh, calm than in the Philippines crossing a road. <laughs> the city is so beautiful. I can't get over it. Is it close? Okay, that didn't work. The lady that was at the cafe, it was apparently her lunch break. So we were like, oh, all good, no worries. We're probably gonna leave you guys here at this point. We hope that you enjoyed our first day in Seoul with us. We are really, really enjoying this place and cannot wait to explore more. It's so nice to be here. It still doesn't feel 100% real that we're here. It's just awesome looking at the city and everything. The sights that you only see on the cameras and on pictures and stuff, it's so nice to be here. We've been seeing so many food stores around that look delicious. David had lunch yesterday and wow, amazing food. We were just super tired yesterday so I couldn't pick up the camera to film as we landed yesterday. So, but we are looking forward to eating all the yummy goodies of South Korea. With that being said, we're gonna leave you guys here. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like it with the thumbs up button down below and subscribe if you haven't already because we got heaps of cool adventures planned here in South Korea. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.